In this video, I will show you how you can calculate the number of working days for yourself or your employees, whether it's in the past or in the future. So let's go and see how we can do that. So I have this table containing the start date and end date of work for each of these five employees. And I want to calculate how many days did each one of them work, excluding the weekends. And also I have the option to exclude the holidays. So in order to do that, I will use a function called network days equals network days start date comma end date and if I close the bracket right now it will only calculate the weekends but I also have the option to include the holidays so depending on the country that your employees are working in you can put the number of holidays let's say for example 20 and close the bracket so Michael worked for 611 days let me extend this to the other employees and you can see for how many days each one of these have worked in my company now there is also another type of work that started lately which is the four working days and three weekends and in order to calculate based on that I can use another function which is the network days international in order to do it I will type equals network days dot international so it returns the number of whole work days between two dates with custom weekend parameters so I will choose it start date comma end date comma weekends so here I can choose the specific weekend to calculate based on so for example instead of Saturday and Sunday which is the default my employees work six days per week except Friday so I will choose number 16 then the number of holidays I will assume it's 17 and press enter so you can see since the number of weekends is less now and there's only one day off per week for each employee the number of working days increased by default I hope this video was helpful for you to let you know how to calculate the number of working days don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel